Oh. He's just a little baby. He's a little baby. <laughs> He's a little guy. And then I saw Kiki Moore and I was like, where's the mouth? And before I ever said it, they were like, no! I will eat your skin! <laughs> you guys are sending me out of here feeling really good, guys. <laughs> Love Spoopy. Spoopy season is upon us. Let's yeah. go dark. Wow, can't, witch. You can't contain this. You can't yeah. contain this. You're watching convention coverage. Hello, everybody. How are we all hanging in there? This is day three, huh? <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a pretty vivacious Sunday for a con, I would say. Yeah. How's the convention been treating you all? Have you have you had a good time? Oh, the best oh time, yeah. Amazing! Yeah, you were saying, we were like even excited this morning. We were like, it's day three, but like, I'm excited mm. to get after it today. Meet some more people. Yeah. So thank you all. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to meet more people. I just want to hang out with you guys again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of all of it. Here we go. If you guys can voice any other character in the show other than the character that, you know, you voice, who would it be and why? So what I usually say is everybody that got to do a voice on this show did it so freaking perfectly mm-hmm. that I wouldn't want to mess it up. That said, <laughs> I want Barkus. <laughs> Uh, I would have loved Kiki Mora to have like a redemption arc, so I'd play good Kiki Mora. <laughs> Eileen, because she's just like, wah, 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 wah. yeah. yeah. <laughs> good choices. Good choices. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Luz is very excited to show Amity the human realm. What do you think the first thing that she showed Amity when they wound up in the human realm? Pizza. Probably internet. <laughs> like, this is what my cell phone does with service. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Again, great. What memes do you think you show her? Oh, what memes? Mm. I don't know. My favorite one is the lizard, like the bearded dragon going like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one you sent me last night? Yeah. <laughs> what was your guys' first reaction to King? He's just a little baby. He's a little baby. <laughs> He's a little guy. He's a widow- you saw my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's so fluffy. So fluffy, I love him. <laughs> so fluffy, I could die. I, yeah. Like the first time I saw him, I was like, "Where's his mouth? What's why?" <laughs> and then I saw Kiki Moore, and I was like, "Where's the mouth?" <laughs> um, <laughs> Sometimes we have issues. <laughs> I think yeah, I don't know. I think Dana said they tried, and it was weird. So, yeah. Human realm, uh, internet, and dentistry. No, no. <laughs> you can Google uh, King without what's under King's skull, though. Dana drew it. I'm afraid to find out. Yeah, you should be. It's not. What there. was your reaction the first time you saw King? Yeah. Pretty much the same as Luce's reaction in the show. <laughs> She's a little guy. And, you got the star and then eyes. me going, wait, wait a minute. That's Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just pitched up. Excuse me, it's Bill Cipher. Thank you. <laughs> does it look, Thank right. you. Does it look Thank like you Alex much. Hirsch in real life? Yep. Yes. If you've ever seen Alex Hirsch, it's Giant King. Mm. Yep. <laughs> what was you guys' favorite line to record? I have so many. I'm like, I know. guys, like, I'm which loose. Up? Like, why do you think, like, String Beans is Snake Shifter? I can't make a decision. <laughs> I don't know. Like, from each episode, I could give you a favorite line, but I don't know. What's, what's your favorite? Yeah. Um, Eat this sucker! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty bad. That's a good yeah. one. I really like being Azura, too. That was- like, whenever that happens, that's always really fun. Yeah. And you drew her a map? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, and Tiny knows. She had a name this whole time? <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Yeah, that was so yeah. funny. Uh, I've got a couple as well, but uh, stay mad. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. You're, You're so cute. Being here. You look, and you have a little bow on the back. Oh. Such a button. What is your funniest moment playing as Luz? You laugh the most. Uh, a thing that sticks out to me is always like my first couple recordings. So uh, in like the first episode when she's like, um, like, hello, little fairy <laughs> or whatever. And then she's like, I will eat your skin. <laughs> I liked that moment. Um, and uh, this is not the PG fantasy world I always dreamed about. <laughs> um, I don't know. Those always stick with me. But like. Talk to the glyph, witch. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know. 
Thank you. Any, uh, I don't know, thank you. <laughs> thank you, too. <laughs> thank you, please. <laughs> the best with that fairy was that it was our voice director, Eden Regal. Yes. Who is just this, like, lovely, like, <laughs> effervescent human being, and she's just very kind and sweet, and then, I will eat your skin! She's also Basha. I know. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's the only time she's ever been mean, acting. How did you first hear about the Owl House as a production? Do you, where did you first hear about it? When I got the audition. Yep. Same. <laughs> Same. Mm-hmm. Simple. So, uh, so I got the audition, and uh, I got the audition in 2016, I think, and then I didn't go in to record until 2018. And when I did go in, uh, a friend of mine was working at Disney, and she was like, the show's going to be amazing. And I was like, Aww. yeah, don't put pressure. Like, because blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. the second you start thinking like, this is going to be amazing, then it tanks and it's terrible. So yeah. I was like, nope, la la, just a job, la la la. And then, uh, spoiler alert, the show was amazing. Yeah, so. yeah and I, I've, every, all my friends tell me it's really amazing, so I'm still watching, watching it. So well, thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. you had, like all the characters on the show, who had like the most development? Hootie. Amity? <laughs> birdworm. It's birdworm. Bird bird yes. Yeah. Ida? <laughs> mm? King? Lilith? Definitely. Luz? Not Kiki Moore? Willow? Hunter? <laughs> Gus. It seems like everybody. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone but her, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a good arc until like the closing credits. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, okay, she's relaxed a little. She's having a chaga latte and has some dungarees on. Yeah. Spin yeah. off. Yeah. Kiki Moore in a do rag. <laughs> hey. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That was the most heartwarming episodes. I mean, the Tunnel of Love one was yeah. really sweet. Was uh, enchanting Grom Night. I mean. Oh, that's on. a good yeah. one. I love that Grom okay. episode. So good. I like uh, the one. Where they're wrestling, like the wrestling match. Oh, with about reaching out, the reaching out. That's the reaching, reaching out, out That one at the end. Yeah, when about they, like, Lucy's the father and mostly about father. Yes, too. Mm. that one. Oh, yeah, I can't remember that. Really sad. Oh, oh taking sweet. us down memory lane. Thank you for that one. Uh, thank you. Yeah. As a Latino here, I like the part where Luz speaks Spanish. Yeah. So, what do you think was your favorite line in Spanish in all the show? Oh, um, they have una luz puesta para mí. Cause it's like a double entendre. <laughs> um, I like that one. Um, and I don't know, like, no te preocupes, todo va a salir bien. It's just sweet. Okay. Yeah, I won't translate it because <coughs> I'll learn Spanish. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the first one I said was like, leave a light on for me, but like, loose is Luce's name, and you yeah. know, like, leave the light on for me because I'm coming home. Is it sad? And then the other one is like, don't worry, like everything's gonna turn out okay, which is like the most optimistic loose line. So, I don't know. What's your favorite? Do you have one in mind? Uh, when he first met King and say, ah, qué lindo. Ay, qué lindo. Oh yeah, that was definitely the funnest. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, ay, qué lindo. It's like, oh, so cute. Like so beautiful. Ay, qué lindo. So if you could play anyone else in the Owl House, who would you play? Mm. Oh, I think we kind of answered this already. We did. How about how about this? How about if if there's anybody else that you could think of that could do your character that you would like to see do your character, who would it be? Oh, it's already a voice. Well, position. Avi and I always joke. Avi does like the worst loose impersonations. <laughs> they don't think so, but I would like to see Avi be me. <laughs> um, and I guess. I don't know. I like impersonating Avi too because I'm a big Rain Whispers fan, and they're so mm-hmm. good. So I would be. We could yeah. do a little body swap. <laughs> I would love to see Alex's take on Lilith. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. call. I'd love to have Zeno uh, voice Kiki Mora. Because <laughs> she's just not drawn the way everyone... I, I think we all have something like... You know, she has this turtleneck, but we all... Where's think, the mouth? Yeah, we all have something we think we, we need to hide, but the whole point of Owl House was, like, all of you is beautiful. And I could just see her, instead of being like, and you drew her a map, and you drew her a map, you know, like, whatever you would do with it. I think she'd be so much more powerful. Like, I think Zeno's voice is her voice inside, right? I don't know. I think you did her pretty good. I think you did her well. But I'd watch it. (laughs) Thank you. Thank Thank you you so much. So if you had to be in any coven, what coven would you be in? Bad girl coven. Bad girl coven for life. Bad girl. Uh, uh, Wild witch. Yeah. Bad girl coven, wild witch. Wild witch. Wild witch. You can't contain this. You can't contain this. We tried. You literally can't. (laughs) Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I, next on the episode of Hootie Hunter. <laughs> Love the reaction of Luz and Amy first kiss. Were you surprised or something? I guess not. 
Because, oh. like, yeah, okay, yes and no. Like, it made sense story wise. Mm-hmm. Like, they were definitely falling for each other. Mm-hmm. But I was like a first for Disney. Yes. So, yeah. Yes and no. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I felt like it should happen. But, mm-hmm. like, on t- national TV, you know, that was really like, yes. awesome and unexpected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually it's just, like, hinted at, right? Like, yeah. oh, they're so yeah. cute when they flirt and they get rosy cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but to actually have them kiss, I thought was really sweet. Yeah. Sorry, I was trying to think back, like, initial reactions. Thank, Thank you. you. I so hope you guys you. come back soon. Thank you. Me too. So too. Thank you. Out of the whole show, which actor was the most like their character? Matthew Reese. The no. worst. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think Sarah. Yeah, you're very much like this. this is, yeah, I can only make a joke. Yeah, like, if they think aside from me, like, what are you going to say, like, Alex? <laughs> I mean, he, I did have a bad bang Yeah, moment. he is a bird worm in real life. Yeah. This is just a skin suit that he wears that you guys have all seen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had a... I guess ten- Dana. Dana. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I had a 10 year passport or the day before I got my passport done, I got bangs and I walked into my, uh, my band we were rehearsing and I just walked in. I was like, what do you think? And before I ever said it, they were like, no. (laughs) And I was like, I just took my passport picture, but okay. (laughs) So for 10 years I had a bad bang moment, which was so very Kiki Mora. Wait, you stuck with it for 10 years? No, I had the same passport Oh, I was like, you hated it, but you're like, well, a minute. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How was everybody, like, doing emotionally during the final scenes they had to film? Wrecked. 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 Trauma, therapy, terrible. I I think I scared Dana and Eden and Rebecca. I cried so hard, so... Yeah, it was fine. It was like, whatever. Yeah, it went right there with you, crying in the shower. No worries. It's fine. Yeah. yeah, oh my God, yeah. A lot of therapy. Uh, I've I, never was... been a part of anything like this. Like, mm. I've done games. I've done other shows. I've done whatever. But I've never been a part of anything that grew the way that this did and meant as much to myself and to other people. And to have that come to an end was devastating but we get to come do things like this and we get to talk to all of you amazing people who were also touched by the show and that gives me life. Like truly, it really, truly does. So, sorry. It's honestly it amazing. No, you didn't. Was I still talking? I don't, I don't listen to me. Don't worry. It's honestly amazing to like meet all you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's lovely to meet you. And was, what was the hardest scene or line like emotionally for you guys? Dark deeds done in your favor. It was really hard. <laughs> no, I mean for me it was the it was the agony of a witch reveal, right? Um, if you haven't watched the show, close your ears. Um, but learning that uh, Lilith let her sibling jealousy ruin her sister's life mm. that was really heavy. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Sarah Nicole. <laughs> You were a really bad person for a little. I know. It was really hard. It was really hard. That was mine. Go on. Like, I cried when I said that line. I was, like, crying. It's okay. Thanks for reminding me. (laughs) I think I was always the person who was grateful to be in the show, but I I do remember Kiki Mora talking to her mom, and I think that revealed so much. Like, just she couldn't win, and there was, you could see how far she was being pulled, and I think gave me some compassion for those people that are, we only share the misery we know. And so, you know, the, the fraction of the misery she lived every day. And I think that phone call for me, like that hit home where she's just, how is she going to please everybody? Yeah. 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 I think the episode again about Luce's father, mm-hmm. we just wanted to be really careful with it because it's so real for so, you know, like for loss. And I just wanted to handle everything very carefully. Um, and really do it justice. Um, Because she's like, you know, trying to distract herself for most of that episode. So when it finally came out, there was a lot of ground to cover in those few lines. So that was probably, like, we had to be really strategic there. Yeah. 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 Thank you, guys. Great question. Thank you. Thank you so much. What was your favorite side character's line? Yeah. All of my lines? Yeah, all of... (laughs) (laughs) Too soon. 
I mean, I was like, what's a side character? She's like, someone who's not really part of the main story. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I don't know. You're in the finale, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I wasn't in the main story. You didn't take me home with you. No, I mean, you were awful. <laughs> Would you have taken you home? No. Okay. <laughs> But it doesn't mean I didn't want to go and try stuff out. <laughs> Kiki's got to do some work on herself. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I know she's not a side character, but I will never get over Wendy Malick uh, mm. when Ida fell into the bush and she goes, Hail mama up. <laughs> I will never get over that. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. I don't know, like lines. I don't know. I just like Barkus a lot. Uh, <laughs> oh, and I like Braxis a lot. Uh favorite line yeah maybe I'll eat your skin that's <laughs> really sets the tone <laughs> thank you thank you thank you which all house character do you relate to the most Braxis <laughs> uh, I just drew a blank here you got say tiny nose <laughs> uh, I've been told to say tiny nose <laughs> <laughs> I think loose just knowing that you, uh, I mean, let's be honest, like we're just kind of a conversation. We, t- t- we were talking last night about when you don't know where you fit in and sometimes you have to step way outside of your comfort zone to find your people. It yeah. could be another world. And it's scary to move somewhere else, whether it's just mentally or actually physically moving oh, across yeah. the country. Um, and I, I'm just so proud of, of what a great friend she is. And that she's not just friends to the best people or the right people. Like she really loves with her whole heart, and she loves all of her friends, mistakes and all. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I love that. What she said. Yeah. Let's go with Mella's answer. And <laughs> tiny nose. <laughs> and, and tiny nose. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If you were to run or create any coven you could imagine, what would it be, and how would you run it? Puppy coven. I just get to hold puppies all day. Uh, I have infinite money so I can adopt and rescue every dog. And um, infinite farms so they have space. And um, they're always healthy. That's magic puppy coven. Yeah. So you have the most cute voice I've ever you heard. Do? I want to hear you saying like, do, do you like, do you want to build a snowman or something? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. I, you can't. Beat you can't puppy beat puppy coven. Puppy coven. <laughs> No, rescue coven. You guys can join puppy coven. Yeah. All right, yes. Maybe like the good food coven. That's Ooh. all I got. Oh. <laughs> I like rescue coven, though. Just rescues. You want to do are, cats, are too? Rescues? Oh, you, are you? Are you hey, I'm I? joking. I love cats. <laughs> we could do cows. We could do <laughs> rescue horses. coven. You had me at rescue. Okay, rescue Yeah, let's coven. do it. It's even bigger now. <laughs> Woo! Woo, you're so cute. Raise your hand if you're a rescue. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we all Thank you. Rescue. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that Hi, voice. come on up. How would you describe the Owl House in a few words? Mm, uh, nerd stuck in demon realm. Ooh. <laughs> Find, finds her way. Okay. Which my, is my elevator pitch. Witches and weirdos and birdworms. Ooh. All about the birdworm. Yours is a little <laughs> teaser. Magic in the making. Ooh. Very mysterious. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's why much. we're not in marketing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the most important thing people can think from the show? That Thank you. You don't have to fit a mold. Mm. You can be weird, and you can be a nerd, and you can be a bad girl historian. And no one has the right to judge you. And no one yeah. has the right to judge you. If it makes you happy, mm. do it. Yeah, just be a good person. As long as you're not hurting other people. Yes, yeah. be a good person. I be think happy. we're allowed to... Make mistakes, discover, and grow. And we're allowed to change and grow. Yeah. yeah. I think good so. Good question. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Big fan. I'm also a big fan of uh, Dana Terrace's own artwork and looking at some of her own concept art. You may see that she kind of had like a, a darker take on the show originally. So if you had the opportunity, would you want to do a darker take on the show? Oh, yeah. Was there I a question? Dark. Oh, my God. I love Spoopy. <laughs> Spoopy season is upon us. Let's yeah. go dark. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I love... Uh, I think yeah. Dark Disney oh, is such a theme, season. like oh, yeah. Yeah. songs, everything. Yes, I'm in. Yes. Thank you. Out of the Owl House, um, for any of you guys, out of the Owl House, which character would you want to be your best friend? Uh, King. 
<laughs> I don't know that he'd be super, but he's so small. <laughs> M and Ed, I feel like they'd have your back. Yeah, and they'd give you potions to like get rid of your zits and stuff. Gosh, or Ida, or, or Lil, I don't know, everyone. Yeah, I, we got asked this question yesterday and I still think Luz, because she's that friend who accepts all your faults and Kiki Mora has a, you know, a, a pouch of them. No. She could use a friend like Luz. <laughs> that's really sweet. I don't Who'd know. Who'd be yours? Who'd yeah. be your best friend? Oh, uh, that's a hard one. Uh, <laughs> I, I know it's, it's been said multiple times, but Luz. She's just yeah. so amazing. She's pretty amazing, Sarah. <laughs> you guys are sending me out of here feeling really good, guys. Thanks so much. Well. I'll put this in my pocket for those sad days. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank so you much. cutie. Which universe would you put your Owl House character in? X-Men. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 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 Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Apparently Transformers, so I could talk to myself. Uh, I don't... Uh, probably She-Ra. I think Ooh. Lilith would be awesome. Woo. You'd be so stressed You out. won that one. <laughs> Lilith would be like... Ah. <laughs> great the question. Of the power. Save the princess so of the power. I need notes. <laughs> That's a great question. Thank you. Other than Owl House, what's your favorite cartoon? I love Kipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts. Oh my gosh. I love oh, Kipo. Wow. Oh. Right? Thank you. I love that show. Uh, Nimona, I just recently saw. Oh, that is good. I already love Chloe, but wow, it was so good. Yeah. I'm such a, I'm a dark horse here. I'm like, arcane. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't think that's, yeah. It's good. There's so much good animation out there. Yes. Yeah. Thank, thank I like you. all the oldies thank too. You. Like a lot of great ones. What characters would you like to see people cosplay more often? Any of them. <gasps> all. All of yes. them. Yes. Tiny nose. The Titan. <laughs> I don't, I just want the Titan like laying in the water and yeah. carrying them around. Oh yeah. Ooh. Or, and more Papa Titan. I've only seen a couple of those. Yeah. Barkus, Praxis. <laughs> Darius, we need the hair. Oh my gosh. Like the blue, blue hair. That'd be a really hard one, yeah. Or what's um, Eberwolf? Yeah. Oh, Basically yeah. the really hard, expensive ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make it so. <laughs> Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or, or loose with all the mushrooms in the pajamas. Oh. Yes. Fungi loose. <laughs> Fungi loose has been popular to the, this con. A character other than in the Owl House. Who would you cosplay? I'd go with Kratos, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Although Chris Judge doesn't mean Kratos. I'm just, you know, listen. <laughs> For me, it'd be a tie between Guardian Angel Lifeline and Ishtar. Oh! oh. Yeah. Such a fun question. I don't know. I have, like, so many. I'm like, do I want to be an X-Man? Do I want to be Marvel? Do I want to be the Steven Universe? Um... So true. First one that pops in. The first one's Mystique, but I want to be like hand painted head to toe, like J Law got, mm-hmm. but no, not that, because then I have to run around naked and I'm not that guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> another X Man. I don't know, God. Pass. I don't know. So all of them. No one. Uh, it's everyone in Steven Universe. Storm's lame. Also, I'm not trying to compete with Halle Berry. <laughs> uh, Did you just Amethyst? Sh- Halle Berry? Uh, no, I meant, sh- my, like, no, I won't okay. do it. Yeah, okay. it's, it's been done. I want to do something really hard. I don't know, what's the hardest thing? What would you say? I don't know what the hardest would be. I don't know. <gasps> oh, but, wait, but, but yes. you said I want to be answers. Valkyrie, Valkyrie, Tessa Thompson. Yeah, Ooh. I want, like, the full, real Yeah, we can suit. applaud that. Yeah. I'm for that. Anything of Tessa Thompson. Live yeah. horse. Oh. Needs a live horse. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I don't know. Such a fun question. All I think answers. about that question constantly. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye. What was your inspiration for becoming a voice actor? Because Ooh. that's my dream right now. Okay. Well, it looks like you took your first step by speaking it aloud. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm the patron saint of late bloomers and second chances. So it's... N- I will fight you for that title. Yeah, you both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good story. Um, I always was told I had a lovely voice, which was interesting for, for voiceover, but I, I spoke differently than everyone else I went to school with. I moved 26 times before I was 21, so I was the little brown girl at that other table who was a little strange, because I didn't know what was cool everywhere I went. Um, but I took a class, 
and it was like four weekends and they had the fourth weekend they had like agents coming and you could get discovered and obviously you're not but the little seven year old in me even though I was not seven I was like I could get discovered and I did I did so my advice would be um, to really get to know yourself and 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 uh, adore all the things that make you uniquely you because that's the only thing that you could bring to characters that no one else can because I think some people think I'll become something special but you are something special and then you're gonna bring that to your characters and that's what brings them to life and then just now, I didn't have the same internet. Like, there's so many free classes. The Performance Capture podcast is free, and and Joe Zija and Steve Bloom do free seminars, and 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 you know, follow your favorite voice actors and find out the production teams because there's so much work. Yeah. What lights your heart up? So pursue that first, you know. And it might be animation, it might be games, it might be anime, it might be you know, the Human Genome Project and educational text writing for quantum physics. You know, I mean, that might be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> right? Own that thing and pursue that thing. I can honestly tell you that there's so much work out there that, that whatever you love is going to find you and there's going to be room for you. Um, and Sissy, whew, she, she, she is a patron saint of Second Chances. She's like super brilliant. Um, but definitely, what would you, what, what's, what's your advice? Because she's a huge advocate um, for voice actors and our industry. You know, my inspiration was that I was miserable. Uh, I worked in, in tech for 10 years and uh, really hated my life. And How did you know like voice acting was a thing? Like, did you Ever since I was a kid, I always uh, would mimic sounds and voices and, mm -hmm. and you know, um, <laughs> cartoon characters and stuff like that. And I remember when I first realized that Scooby-Doo was an actual cartoon and I saw the black lines around their characters and I was like, what? <laughs> um, and I wanted to be an actor when I was a kid, and my dad was like, no, no you don't. You want, you want to go to business school, and you want to get a degree, and you want to work in finance. Oh gosh, that sounds so fun. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. And I did, uh, and I hated it. And then um, I heard Nancy Cartwright on the radio one time, who's Bart Simpson, and she was talking about how awesome voiceover is, and I was like, that, I want that. Uh, and I started taking classes, and... Um, I met agents and I met casting directors and I met other people and I learned that I, I have found in my life, <clears throat> all right, and Susie's gonna teach a lesson here for a minute. Um, whether it's relationships or job or whatever, when I'm on the wrong path, I feel like I keep just running into like steel walls. You know what I mean? Like I, I get to a point that I can't go past and I try to like back up and go around it and I get blocked. But when I find the right friendships, partner, job, it just comes together like a zipper. Mm -hmm. And that has been my experience with voiceover. It just, it just came together. It's not to say it's not without work. I work my butt off. We all do. We hustle. But it just fit. It fit me. Not everything's for you. Mm. Like role wise, right? Like I might be a good actor. I wouldn't have gotten cast as Lilith. <laughs> you know, and that's just like not everything's for you. So I got offered loose, but I turned it down. Yes, thank God she turned it down. Uh, I was her backup. Yeah. Honest answer. A minute. How many lead roles that you auditioned for last year did you not get? All of them. Yeah, I'm not a lead in anything <laughs> right now, so right. Mm, so it does include that. not getting. Yeah, it's so cast. much. Um, I remember like when I was like six years old I would like make my parents listen to my I'd have my like little microphone and I'd sing and I'm an okay singer I wasn't gonna make money for my singing you know? <laughs> so um I don't know I kind of got like really shy and I got bullied a bit and I just like ran away to like fantasy and watching movies and then um I didn't want to go to Catholic high school because the girls, it was all girls and those girls had not been nice to me. <laughs> just, I didn't fit in with them. You know, like they weren't awful, but like it can be rough. So I don't know. There was a magnet school and I was like, well, I'm not smart enough for like, the, or I'm not into like numbers. So I wasn't going to get into like business. Just, like fine with science, <laughs> fine with like all the other things. I was like, I guess I like food and movies. So like, I don't know, I'll, I'll audition for the theater thing. I had no idea what I was doing. I somehow got in. Um, I learned to act, and then I was like, okay, I still don't know what I do, what I want to do with my life, but like acting's probably the easiest thing to figure out if I'm good at it. So I'll 
apply to acting schools and if I get in, I'm good enough, <laughs> you know, and I'll like try that first because that's a harder backup career, <laughs> easier to fall back on something else, you know, so I was like, okay, if I fail, let's knock that out first and then I'll know. Um, but yeah, then I made it somehow through acting school. I got, um, and at my showcase, I met with someone at Disney uh, from there and I um, went in for like a, do they call it like a general? So she had me read for like every character in Gravity Falls. And I was like, this is really fun. You know, like you're, you don't have to be fit the box or the look, you know, because obviously there's not a lot of people like us right out, out there in Leeds right now. And I just, I got in the booth for the first time and I was like, oh, this is it. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. So um, from there, I just worked my little butt off. <laughs> um, I met an agent through my manager. So I would just say like, whatever part of acting you're in love with, whatever part of voiceover you're in love with, start with that and it'll lead to something else. But um, yeah, it's, it's do, don't do it to be famous. No, you don't get <laughs> that no. kind of thing or don't do it to make money. That's not a good reason. It's a lot of rejection and a lot of hard work. So you do have to have that soul love for it. It's a lot of no's. It's mostly no's. <laughs> I would also say um, for anybody who is a voice actor uh, in any capacity, if you have ever had a single paying job as a voice actor, you can apply for the National Association of Voice Actors, or NAVA. It's navavoices.org. It is the first and only voiceover-specific advocacy group. Um, I sit on the board. We have um, pathways classes to help people um, get to where they're going. Um, uh, informational seminars. We're dealing a lot with AI right now. So if you are doing voiceover, please, for the love of everything holy, read your contracts. I know it's boring and nobody wants to hear me talk about contracts up here, but listen, there's a lot of companies that want to take your voice forever. So please read your contracts and know what you're signing. All of this information is on the Nava Voices website. Um, and they are really doing some incredible things for voice actors. And that website again was? Nava, N-A-V-A, Thank, Thank, Thank you. Before you go, I'd like to address the elephant in the room, which is this, like, four-foot owl in the corner. <laughs> 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 we got to talk about you, bud. <laughs> is that for us? <laughs> or are you... That's amazing. Woo! Woo! Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. They just, the they owl elephant. We have to address the owl elephant in the room. Oh. <laughs> he has the whole body, too. Okay. How do you walk? Slowly. So, like, they nine fly. of you in there? <laughs> they fly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. What's been the number one most helpful note that a director has given you? Don't try so hard. Yeah. If if you're not having fun behind the microphone, I guarantee nobody's having fun listening. Yeah. Breathe. Yeah. Breathe. Breathe. Take your breaks. Yeah. Like, <laughs> sounds stupid, but like, I think you kind of get nervous sometimes. You're like, <laughs> you know, like you're yeah. so trying so hard to perform, but like, you're entitled to breaks. You can also take a breath, like before any audition. You don't have to walk in there and be like, hi, blah, 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 you know, or like jump right into the scene. I felt like that right now. You can now. take a second. Yeah. Right. And like, that's fine. It feels like an eternity to you to be like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a great question, you know, but it like is. that's one breath. Yeah, <laughs> that's I'm enough time breaths, to yeah. like mm -hmm. collect yourself sometimes or really listen and think before you respond. Yeah. And Nerves. If you, if you flub a line, yeah. who cares? Everybody Everyone. flubs lines. Nobody and there's there's some lines yeah. you can't say, like some tongue when twisters. Yes. <laughs> yes. Some of the words. Yeah. Fun good. question. Yeah. That's a good question. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you all for being here so much. I love all of you, all the roles you mm, play. It's thank amazing. You. You. Um, Please don't turn us into puppets. Yeah. <laughs> We're all a little I'm nervous, nervous too. too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I didn't get to say this earlier when I met you, but I just want to say thank you so much for bringing Loose to life. Mm -hmm. And as someone who um, is autistic and has ADHD, I've never related to a character more than Loose. And I've like... Aww. 
I mean, besides like Mabel Pines or anything, I've never really <laughs> related to any like weird kid characters, you know, that are more focused on fantasy than reality. And it just, just thank you so much. Thank you. Well, you got me. First cry of the day. <laughs> we're, we're a little teary. I enjoy the crew, man. No, I'm like um, on five. Yeah, you're not alone. There's lots of us. So I'm, I'm so grateful I got to, to get to be someone that I related to, too. <laughs> I'm going to piggyback. <laughs> um, Please. I am also autistic, ADHD, and Mexican. And I said this earlier, but it's just like I never had someone that I looked like as a kid. I never had someone that I related to so much. And being that person, being that kid who was always too loud or too quiet or too bossy or too imaginative or too anything to truly like get along with anyone else, it has never been easier to feel seen and heard with most of the characters in this show, including Lilith, who's also very clearly neurodivergent. <laughs> um, and like, as a, as a Mexican who wears, you know, these round prescription glasses and who's had them for years and non-binary, and it's like there's, there's every character has something to relate to for everyone, every minority who's never had someone to look up to. So mm -hmm. thank you so so much for giving millions of people probably these kind of role models and especially I'm so excited for the next generation that gets to grow up with them <laughs> and have these people to look up to. I can't thank you enough. Thank you. That's our team. Our writers, yeah. our creator, Dana. Thank you. I'm the yeah. artist. Definitely. Yeah. And I'm really glad that you relate to Luz because she's me and I, I thought I was alone. And so to <laughs> you guys being like, that's me too. I'm like, no way. Like, <laughs> So thank you. I know I just grew up the same, so it's not easy, but... You two are wonderful, so you're off to thank a good start. You. you all mean more to us than you will ever know. And I think I speak oh. for everyone here. Oh, guys. Thank can we actually, you. can everybody in here say thank you very much to these people? Thank you so much. Oh, thank you guys so much. Bye, you guys. Everyone.